the table today we have all the cats today we have a uh they haul us uh happy mail uh trucks and a happy mail vehicle and we see how they work yeah we got some hot wheels happy mail toys this is a uh, one two three four from this year and we're going to open these up these are uh, hot wheels toys from previous years except for this one this is just a regular grave digger but this is a uh, hot wheels grave uh, the happy mail grave digger these are some superhero grave uh, superhero hot wheels mcdonald's First, we're going to open these up. We'll take a look at the vehicles and then we'll test them out. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's open it. Open this one first. Open this one first and have some fun. This is number four. And he looks like some kind of all-terrain vehicle. All right, let's take a second here to appreciate the beauty of these Hot Wheel vehicles. These are the one and two, the first two. And then the next two, three and four, this one is Torque Twister. And this is a... Uh, and this one is... Dogzilla. Yeah, you almost forgot. His name is Dogzilla. We actually Dogzilla. have a Hot Wheel version of this. We'll look it up some, sometime. But we have a card that looks just like this one, huh? Mm-hmm. All three. Uh, the name cool thing about the, these vehicles is they all have special Dogzilla. little features. Dogzilla. So we'll test them out. First we're gonna have these vehicles go in regular mode. So let's pull, the, these are all pullback vehicles. Let's pull these all back. This one first and we'll go in order. So do this one, pull back down to here and then let it go. So that goes straight pretty far. This one, pull back all the way here and let it go. Oh, that was a little too much. And then this one, pull back here. Come back to here and let it go. <laughs> this one, pull back. Let it go. No! All right. So they all go pretty far. Now let's pull them back in their special modes. So each of these vehicles, they have little special features, and we'll try out each one. The green car has a little button here. And it moves to the left and to the right. And if you notice, as I'm moving the green thing, there's an orange dial inside the car that moves left and right too. So it controls that. And also, if you look at the windshield, there are some some uh, numbers. It's like there's like a scale on the windshield. And I don't know if this thing changes the speed or it's a measurement of time. But what we're going to do is we're going to test it out see what the difference is by doing uh, the button on one side and then the button on the other extreme side and just see what what's the difference so we got it down to the left I'm gonna pull it back from here to here and then we're gonna let it go and see how far it goes he goes uh, from all the way to the end of the J and let's try that again all right so I have the vehicle we're gonna try it again but this time we're gonna have the button on the other side and maybe it'll be more powerful. And by the way, when I do it on the other side, this side, um, there are some numbers that are hard to read. It goes from, uh, okay, so it goes 25, 50, 75, 100. So the numbers get bigger on this side. So let's see what happens when we do it with the high numbers. I pull here, I'm gonna pull it back the same amount let it go hmm, I don't know this one's a little bit shorter I don't know okay I think maybe there's too much friction on this pad so I'm gonna try a smoother surface right here and we're gonna get about halfway so this time we're gonna try the low setting again and then we'll start about halfway here pull back and then let her go. And it seems to stop right there. So now we're going to try it again. But we're going to do on... By the way, um, this thing seems to move to the middle. So I guess maybe this moves. So I'm going to put this on the higher setting. Try again. Same uh, same amount of pullback distance. Over here. And then 
Let her go, see if there's any difference. Okay, so, I don't know, there's like not much different. Um, so I don't know what this is, if, this, if we have a malfunction toy, but really, uh, really it makes no difference. The vehicle just moves the same way. Same speed, same power. So, okay, I don't know what, what this is supposed to do, but it doesn't work. Goodbye. Next vehicle. The next vehicle is a spinning one. And this is how it normally moves. Underneath the chassis is a little plastic thing that you can remove. Then you flip it over and there's a little bubble underneath. And you just snap it on here like this. And then and then the vehicle it no longer it's only on uh it's only on the on the back legs now but you pull back and I guess it'll just spin. <laughs> A little bit. And uh so maybe I have this on the wrong side, so I'll I'll remove this and I'll put it here and maybe it'll work better. I don't know, let's find out. You gotta kinda test this out. Um uh, so if you have it on this side this is still only on two wheels. Let's do pull back and let's see if it spins around. Okay, so it kind of spins around. So it doesn't work perfectly. You're gonna do it a few times. Maybe you have to carefully let it down. And it kind of spins. Let's try one. Let's do a power form. Yeah. So even if it's on this side. Or if it's on this side, it doesn't really. Oh, this one kind of works better, I guess. Let's try. All right, so that kind of spins. I'm a little bit disappointed in the, uh, I guess, the craftsmanship of these vehicles because they're not really working. All right, next one. We saw earlier from the from the test runs that this car was just was just um turning to the side. Now the cool thing about this vehicle is that you can pop open the hood. Or not the hood, but the, the top. Look, excuse me. You pull this open right here, and underneath is a little uh, switch knob thing. And you can turn it, and I guess if you turn it like this way, maybe, oh yeah, so it controls the direction of this fifth uh, wheel down here. So you can either have it in the middle, if you have it in the middle, it's going to go straight. If you have it to the left side, it'll turn to the left of it. Let's see. Yeah. And then if you turn it to the right, it'll turn to the right. Yep. Okay, so. This one, this vehicle, it works. Success. All right, let's try the next one. The last one for today. Hey, it's this ATV vehicle. Let's figure out how it works. Now, each of these vehicles comes with a little, uh, like a pog button here, a little card with its name, Dogzilla, uh, with its feature uh, suspension. Monster. It's got a little challenge lab. This is for Steam, which I believe is uh, science, technology, uh, engineering. Um, a is art, M is math. So, this is to help you learn a little bit. And it comes with a little direction on how the toy would work. So this one, it's got a little switch underneath. And the switch controls the suspension. So if you have it here, uh, you tap it. This is, I think this is with the uh, suspension uh, off. It's pretty hard. And then do this one. And then, yeah, and this is with it on. This is where the suspension is very loose. And the challenge, here it says, the suspension, the suspension is the part that connects the car's body to the wheels. Challenge, gently push down on the front of the car. Now flip the switch, push down front and feel the suspension working. We did that. Push the car over a bumpy surface. How much does it bounce with the suspension off or on? Well, hey, we have a bumpy surface right here. So we'll just see how this vehicle moves with the suspension um, off and on, okay? So here's with it, uh, I think this is off, so, okay. 
and then we'll see uh, how it moves. I think pretty smoothly. Actually, actually, I'm realizing a better test would be on the carpet because the carpet is even bumpier. So, but it's hard to record this because the, the car is moving so fast that you don't get to see much. So, uh, I guess it will start from here. And maybe you guys can get a look to see if the body is moving, how, how much the body is moving. Okay. Did that look a bit bumpy? Okay. And then we'll try again. This time I, I flip the switch. Hmm. Okay, uh, I think I figured out the difference. It's hard to test with this car because it's not like a truly uh, engineer to uh, really work. Just, uh, but you can almost kind of tell that there there is an effect between the two uh, modes of the vehicle um, and I think that's how the suspension normally works in cars here so here it's pretty stiff um, it's stiff it's not bouncing and I think what happens is when the the tire bounces on the uh, the carpet it just moves the whole body a lot too because the tires the wheels are just shaking the body and let's compare the shakiness of the right here between the two modes so I have to do that a few times so it, it, it seems like it's kind of shaky let's try that again and then we'll try the other one where there's more uh, suspension where this shaking more and I think um, I think the, the shaking of the tires is absorbed and the body sh doesn't shake as much. Let's see if you can kind of capture it on camera and see. It's hard to tell but I think this is a little bit of a smoother ride. It seems like the body doesn't shake as much. This one and this one. Compared to this one, this one looks like it shakes. It's really hard to tell the. It's just not. It doesn't really work so efficiently. But um, that's kind of like yeah, how it works. Here. Yeah. So these are the vehicles. Um, they're pretty cool because uh, they're pullback, um, and I like how that Hot Wheels, then McDonald's are trying to get kids to. Uh, do little experiments to test the different features of the vehicles and see how that applies to like physics. Um, but they don't actually, they kind of don't really work, uh, so uh, they're hard to test, but they're fun to try out. Um, maybe like one of the vehicle works really well, this one turns really well, but some of the other ones they don't they don't work so good. So, but it's a nice, nice try. Uh, cool little toys from McDonald's. We're definitely going to get some more because we actually still like Happy Meal Hot Wheels. And, uh, uh, there's a Matchbox one that's, that's what they need to do. They need to release some Happy Meal Matchbox vehicles. Some construction ones. That would and be pretty cool. Truck ones. And, oh yeah, some and fire, fire trucks. Truck uh, they have different features. Like if you one, just... Yeah. It, it moves... It, uh, it moves the arm back and forth. Do you hear that McDonald's? Mm -hmm. In Hollows you need to have a fire truck Happy Meal toy the, where the ladder moves. The ladder truck, uh, mm -hmm. the ladder goes up and down and then when it's up, it goes, it walks, it walks, it mm -hmm. makes it even more longer. Yeah. Yep, that would be one of the vehicles. Maybe uh, another one that squirts water with the water cannon. That's called a water truck. Yep. The water truck, so, uh, it squirts you hundreds of water. Yeah, hundreds of water. So those are just some ideas for the next uh, Matchbox Happy Meal fire truck toy. Uh, if they can make that happen. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.